We declare, oh God, even this service, oh God, unto you once again, oh God. Lord, even as we have come to worship you, oh God, to bless your holy name, oh God, with the fruits of our lips. We pray that you inhabit the praises of your people today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, as we worship in spirit and in truth, we pray, God, that you command your blessings upon us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we put on, oh God, the garments of praise, oh God. That our offerings, oh God, will be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. We humble ourselves, oh God. We cast down every imagination, oh God, that easily besets us, oh God. And we exalt you, God. We enthrone you, God. We give you all the glory, God. We praise your name, oh God. We clap, oh God, even in adoration unto you, God. We clap our hands, oh God, in praises unto you, oh God. To the one and holy God. To the triumphant God. To the Lord who knows the hand from the beginning. To the Lord who calls things for us as though they were not. Let us give all the glory unto God. Praise the Lord.
worship God. Begin to praise God. God, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Let every voice be lifted up this evening. Let every voice be lifted up in worship, in thanksgiving to God, in gratitude. around and go back home not getting what is there because you do not know what is there it will be strange for you to go to any of the African restaurant and ask them to give you some Chinese food when you don't know where you are you may not know what to ask for amen on my way here, I was praying one prayer in the car. I said, Lord, I'm coming to Empowerment Center. Yes, Lord. I was praying that prayer. I didn't know I was going to lead you in prayer. I preached this morning in our church. I'm here because I know if you know where you're going to and you know what is there, you will not go back home without what is obtainable in that place. Is somebody listening to me? The next 10 minutes is very crucial. The next 10 minutes is very crucial. I'd like you to pray to prepare yourself because otherwise you can be in the right place and not know like Jacob. He says, the Lord is here and I did not know it. Well, you will know that God is here. Amen? Amen? I say you will know that God is in this place. Amen. Anytime you want to know what God will do in a place, check what he calls the place. Amen? Amen. Whatever God call it, that is what you get from there. You don't go to Walmart and start asking them, for what they don't sell in Walmart. You, you don't go to, 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 to uh, Ashley Furniture and say, I'll, I want to buy tomatoes. They don't sell it there. The name tells you what you get from there. This is empowerment center. Until you are empowered by God, you will not make meaning in life. This is our moment of encounter. Until you encounter God, you will not count in life. We are entering into a new month. If you want to count, if you want your business to count, if you want your spiritual life to count, if you want your family life to count, in this coming month, this is 
is the moment for you to ask God, Lord, I have come for an encounter. And that encounter is I need an encounter with your word. Hallelujah. I need you to hold somebody's hands this evening. In the next 10 minutes, I want you to hold somebody's hand. And as you're holding that person's hand, adjust the transference of grace so you can enjoy the grace they're carrying for prayer. And let's join force together tonight and ask God, Lord, I need an encounter with your word. Visit me with your word. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice. The Bible says that God is able to do exceedingly, according, abundantly, far above that which we may ever ask or even imagine, according to the power that is at work in, in us. So this evening, ask God, I need an encounter with your word. Let your word become flesh. Let your word become flesh. I need a word for my situation. I need a word from you. I need a word from you for the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Father, I have come. I have come not to watch. I have come not to clap. I have come not to observe. I have come to have an encounter with you tonight. Visit me with your word. I need a word for my situation. Record to see Bragedu Sapatalaba. Mesutobata. Speak to me tonight. Speak to me tonight. Visit me by your word. Visit me by your word. Talk to me. Alapeku Brezo Tukabata. Let every voice be lifted up. Mesotola. Lika Pasodu Jiklano Kapasulaba. The Bible says he sent his word. He sent his word. Lord, send your word toward me tonight. Send your word. I ask for the sent word. I ask for the now word. I ask for the word in season. Give me the word. I will not enter the next month without a proceeding word. I need a proceeding word. As I enter into the next month, I need a word to proceed. I need a proceeding word to help me to proceed with the business. To help me to proceed in my relationship. To help me to proceed in my career. I need a word. Speak to me tonight. Mondo Sudu Zegila, Rabadosh Kapatu, Rubedena Kandos Kutume Kalakatela, sent your word to me, sent your word. The Bible says, How forcible are right words. Send the right word for my situation, send the right word to change my marriage, send the right word to change my business, change, send the right word, oh God, that we affect my business, send the right word that we give me. That we cost me to know what to do. Lick up a juna black, Mesotula, Rapado Shada, Geredos, Ketuke di Calabrando, Sepetula Bratete, Yagodo Shapata, Loco Peco Pazeto, Kidama, Graduski Pico Pata. I need an encounter with your word. I need an encounter. Let your word, let your word enter into my spirit as your summer step for today, oh God. Let your word in his mouth. Let the spirit behind the word of God that he will speak tonight. Let the spirit behind the word enter into me. In the name of Jesus Christ. An encounter. An encounter with the word. An encounter with the word. An encounter with the word. A word that is for me. A word that is for my children. A word that will change my thinking. A word that will impress my destiny. A word, a word, a word from you. Lord, speak to me tonight. Speak to me tonight. Confirm your word tonight. Tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, name of Jesus Christ. the Bible says, when he spoke to me, the spirit entered into me. The spirit entered into me. For the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Lord, this is our next prayer. Let the spirit of your word enter into me tonight. Let the spirit behind the word, not the logos, not the letter. I need the spirit of your word. Let the spirit, your, the Bible says, uh, my mouth has spoken the words uh, and my spirit have gathered them. Father, let the spirit behind the word of God, let the spirit, uh, all scriptures are given by the inspiration 
revelation of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, let the spirit behind your word enter into me as your servant speak tonight. Let the spirit of God's word, let the spirit lick up a sort of It is not by power, it is not by might, but by your spirit. It is not by power. It takes the spirit of God, it takes the spirit behind the word to quicken my destiny. Let Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, it says, You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost come upon you. You shall receive what? Power when the Holy Spirit comes. And so God did not promise us speaking in tongues. He promised you power. Speaking in tongues is evidence that you have power. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Come on now. Come and so tonight, I need you to activate that power. Because according to the word of God, and he says, he will answer above that which we ask uh -huh. or even imagine uh -huh. according to the power that is at work in us. Oh, my God. I need you to determine the extent to which God will respond to your need in this coming month. And that is depending on the power that is at work inside of you. And that power is what I want you to activate now. Lord, if you are filled with the Holy Ghost, engage and activate that power. Lick up a soto gilebrata. Lemeno usa tigadeha. Riketo sketika tiketebe. Simbri du shalaha. Woshika pato. I can hear you. Robedo kusara brata tata. Pray like you mean it. Lord, empower me tonight by your spirit. I receive power tonight. Power to conquer. Power to victory victorious. It is my day of triumph. Therefore, I receive power to overcome. I receive power from on high in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Empower me, O God. Let your spirit, let your spirit empower my thinking. Let it empower my understanding. Let it empower my thought life. Let the spirit of God quicken my understanding. Quicken my understanding. Let your spirit quicken. Let it cost me to be fervent and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Last prayer, Lord, help me to be focused tonight. Help me to be focused tonight. Let me not miss the catching moment. Help me to be focused tonight. Let me not miss my word. Help me to be sensitive tonight. Let me not miss the word that you have designed to help me. Rese kutujela, mangra tuske pratu kapata. I come against every distracting thought. I come against every distracting thought. I come against it. I rebuke every satanic distraction. In the mighty name of lift up your voice. I refuse to be distracted. Rese kapato. I am a lot. I am fervent. I am sensitive. I refuse to be distracted. Father, help me to catch my word. Help me to comprehend my word. Help me to know what you're saying to me. Finally, my deliverance has come. Finally, my help has come. Finally, tonight is the night. Finally, I'm breaking forth. Finally, let's sit to Jalak. Let's sit to Patulaba. Moshadile. 
Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. Father, we lift up your servant tonight. Father, we ask you, especially for me, <laughs> I have come for an encounter. This is an empowerment center. Whatever you have put in this place, I need my portion tonight. Lift up your voice. Whatever, whatever reason you establish this place, I need my portion tonight. I need to be empowered above my enemies. I need to be empowered above sickness. I need to be empowered above lack. I need to be empowered above depression. I need to be empowered above frustration. I need to be empowered above stagnation. Lord, give me my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are set to do. Use your servant tonight like never before. Let him be an oracle to give us advantage in this coming month. Let him give us advantage tonight. May we enter into the next month in advantage. He says, what advantage has the Jews? He says, the only advantage is that the oracles of God is committed into their hands. Father, let your servant put us in a fast lane this coming month. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you are excited, shout glory be to God. When you call that name, you speak the name of Jesus and victory you can get.
just lift up your voice and begin to tell him the reason why you are here. He will not pass you by. He will not pass you by. He had not spoken in secret that the sons of Jacob should seek him in vain. There is no one that can hand over to you what you desire out of him. I have nothing to hand over to nobody. All we have and all we want to receive is from above. Talk to him right now. Express your heart to him. Tell him that major issue. Tell him that thing. Everyone listening to me on the radio, wherever you are listening to this broadcast, and everyone watching this live on the internet, lift up your voice to Jesus wherever you are. The healing virtue is flowing in your direction. The deliverance virtue is flowing in your direction. Whatsoever you desire, whatsoever you need today, it is available in Jesus. It is available in Jesus. That is the only name we have been given. Above every other name. At the mention of his name, my knees shall bow. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Don't let this precious woman pass you by. Don't let this precious woman pass you by. Tell him about that your children. Tell him about that your career. Tell him concerning your health. God is committed to making it work. So they are the man that don't sell. We got a master of Osari and Narabosana. Prusha Catabane Cosigari and Narabosan. Luna Bacasato Bericate Cosipere Shala Handa. Thank you, blessed Father. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As you have said in his hearing, I prophesy tonight by the spirit of he that is in heaven that whatever you have demanded from heaven tonight, let them become a testimony. In the name of Jesus, a great and effectual door is open unto me. But lo and behold, there are many adversaries. I stand in the place of authority today by the Spirit of the Lord. And I declare over your life if your amen can be louder than seven persons standing beside you. In the name that is above every other name, whatever had made a mess of your journey in this first half of the year. As you cross over into the second half, I declare over your destiny it will become a testimony. I say God will convert it to a testimony. In the precious name of Jesus. What that mountain before Zerubbabel? The word of the Lord came forth that there should be made plain. Therefore, every mountain before you, whatever I know, allow your testimony to show forth. Whatever I know, allow your joy to be full. Whatever I know, allow your prayer to get answered. Whatever I know, allow you to move beyond where you are. Whatever I know, allow you to be married up to now. Whatever I know, allow you to be healed by the other now. Whatever I know, allow your children that are supposed to be producing results from producing the desired result they are to produce. I declare over your life as you say this, amen. I command them to come down. I command them to come down. I command them to come down. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said there is someone here. They have served you a notice. And in this notice is like, oh, if God does not show up now, you are put to shame. If God does not do something now, it is not what you wish to say that you will be shame. As a matter of fact, there is someone here. You have been having issue with your mortgage. And as we are speaking now, your house is almost going for foreclosure. 
But hear the word of the Spirit of the Lord. And a sakapal, perune sekatia, landa na nuzerato, ekla posoma te ya garabaziza, la ho shaka gadaria. To that person whose amen is louder than 14 persons here tonight, I declare every junction of shame where you have found yourself, your God will show up for you. I say God will show up for you tonight. God will show up for you tonight. The same Jesus you have come to meet. The man said, I have been here. I have no one to push me into the sea when the river is being stirred. I have no one to push me into the pool. I have no one. I desire to be, but I have no one to push me there. There are places you desire to be. There are places you have dreamed to be. There are places God has said you will be. But no, there is no one to push you there. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 5, And I wept because there was no man to open the scroll and to, read, to remove the seal and to read the scroll. But suddenly, one of the elders came to me. He said, weep no more, for somebody has prevailed. There was no one you are weeping, but now somebody has prevailed. I have a news for you tonight. Everywhere you are having good dreams, and the manifestation is not coming for The same Jesus you have called upon tonight, as you say the same loud and clear, in the name of Jesus, he will push you to your desired height. He will lead you to your place of testimony. In the precious name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Father. Oh, glory be to your holy name. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Thank you, blessed Father. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And the Hadabasa. Oh, yes. Egla do se prania do basharaba. Adobe ko se proya. Lehina baza brado se kutube yanda ba. The other had to say. We give you praise and glory. Just celebrate the majesty of God. Give him all the honor that is due to his holy name. We bless your holy name, Jesus. We honor your holy name. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Thank you for what you are set to do. We lift up our voice in adoration. We lift up our voice and praise. Thank you, ancient of days. Let the Spirit of the Lord come down. I like all highs closing that song with passion and your The heaven is opening up. We are connecting with what God has for us today. Let the Spirit. man in battle the ancient of days awesome god the beginning and the end you are alpha you are omega you are the lord of lords you are the king of kings you are the king of glory you are the unchangeable changer you are the invisible god el shaddai adonai el elion jehovah jireh jehovah nisi jehovah tiskedeno jehovah shaman jehovah shalom god our righteousness god our provider you are the same yesterday, you are the same today, you are the same forever. You are the one that can do and undo. You are the one that can shut and no one can open. You are the one that can make our life and you are the one that can kill. You are the Lord of all lords. You are the one that enthroned kings. You are the one that subdued kings. You are I am that I am. I am in the morning. I am in the afternoon. I am in the evening. I am El Shaddai. I am the provider. I am the healer. I am the maker of way. I am the restorer. I am almighty. I am all sufficient. I am Elohim. I am Edelim. I am God of God, I am King of Kings, I am King of Glory. All by yourself, all in your name. You are faithful, you are mighty, you are marvelous, you are miraculous. You don't change, you change all this, you make all this, you mold all this. Lift that up of head. You are worthy of our praise. We lift up your
your voice this morning. We magnify you this evening. We glorify your holy name. All is the power of Jesus. Let everything on heavens and on earth bow before you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you. We cannot do without you. All we have and all we will be, we have received them from you. Thank you again and again. Oh, glory be to your name. Glory be to your holy name. The Lord is asking me to tell somebody to my left, far back to the left, that I will work on your marriage. And I will make it better than the beginning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hakala Adusa Adila Maza. Yes, sir. Aruske de Baliska. Ando Shahade Bukusi. They do me cabra naso to prayer. There's someone here God said to me to announce to you that what you have lost and there is no traces again that you can find it. I hear God said to me, I will restore it back to you. Yes, sir. That same opportunity. That same opportunity. Yes, sir. That you have lost. And there is no traces that it can ever come back to you. I speak in the name of Jesus, according to the word of the Spirit, that by the Spirit of it that is in heaven, as you cross over into the second half of this year, God will restore it back to you. I say God will restore it back to you. In the precious name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, blessed Father. We give you praise and glory. Sweet Holy Spirit, have your way here tonight. Take me away totally from the same and appear alive to your people. Amen. Let every pronouncement of my mouth be the word of God. Amen. Lord, remove every saying of mine Amen. and put your word in my mouth Amen. in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Let every destiny, every soul, every man, every woman under this tutelage here tonight, let them be touched by the wave of your spirit. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Let the wind of empowerment begin to blow. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Have your way ceaselessly, Lord. We promise to give all the glory back to you. Thank you, blessed Father, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And the church say big amen. amen. And I just say big amen. amen. I'd like you to go and shake hands with two or three persons and prophesy into their life that tonight is your night. Amen. And you will not miss what God has for you. Amen. Prophesy, prophesy. There is power of life and tongue, life and death in the, in the tongue. Amen. Prophesy, tonight is your night. And you will not miss out what God has for you. Amen. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. Celebrate Jesus with your clap offering and you may please be seated. Glory be to Jesus. Please, you may be seated. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let somebody shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to welcome you to the Empowerment Center. And by the grace of God, specifically, so a couple of years ago, the Lord spoke to me in the place of prayer that let there be a platform for me that shall be called Moment of Destiny Empowerment. It's a platform for the empowerment of destiny that they may be able to fulfill the agenda that God has for their lives. Moment of Destiny Empowerment is a supernatural platform for breaking barriers to destiny fulfillment. God has an agenda for your life. And the agenda of God for your life is the agenda of goodness. For I know the thought I think towards you. Yeah. So God is not a non-entity. He knows his thought. Yeah. I know it. I'm conscious of the thought. It is the thought of good and not of evil. It is a thought to give you a peace and hope. Some other version says to give you an expected end. What expected end? The same end I have in mind for you. Amen. Which is also good. So I speak in your direction tonight. That whatever traces of evil is still in place in your life against the goodness that God has in mind for you. As you say amen, loud and clear, may God evaporate them tonight. Yeah. I want to appreciate everyone that made it to this edition. It's a quarterly empowerment program. It's a revival. It's a prophetic revival. That whenever we come together, we have come to, number one, connect with light and revelations from the scriptures. And we run with these revelations so that they can get us to the place 
where God has ordained us to get to. I want to appreciate everyone here tonight. I want to especially appreciate uh, my brother, wonderful brother in the Lord, Pastor Brother, Pastor Jeff Daniel. He's a pastor of Kingdom Light Church here in Lannington. Thank you so much for coming. God bless. Let's celebrate Jesus in this life. He's a very humble man of God, very wonderful. Thank you so much for coming. And everybody here tonight, I appreciate you. By the grace of God, we'll take time after this encounter to appreciate every one of us more better. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. This quarter, as we are rounding up the last quarter, empowerment for divine reposition, the Lord said to me that the next quarter, moment of destiny empowerment, shall be total turnaround by favor. Total turn around by favor. Is there anyone that needs a turn around here tonight? Get set because that is why we are here. A turn around like a mighty wave is coming your direction. In the precious name of Jesus. So by the grace of God for the next couple of minutes, we shall together be extracting scriptural revelations from the word of God. And this is what empowers us to step into what God has in mind for us. And for the benefit of those that are coming to Moment of Destiny Empowerment for the first time, I want you to understand that your life cannot rise higher than the level of the empowerment that you carry. Everything in this kingdom works on power. The kingdom of darkness operates on power. That is why they call them principalities and powers. The kingdom of God operates on power. Even to becoming son of God, we need power. <laughs> he went to his own, but they accepted him not. John chapter 1 verse 12, but when he came, he said, as many as received him, he gave them power. He did not name them, he gave them. He didn't make them, he gave them power to become. So you cannot become what you are ordained to become until you receive the power for you to become it. Power is essentially our greatest asset in the kingdom. That's why Jesus, when he was going, he said, I don't want to leave you as an offer. There is a machinery that carries the power of God. It is called the Holy Ghost. I will ensure that I don't leave you comfortless. Because when he comes, he will endow you with power from above. So, we need power to fulfill our destiny. To lack power is to lack progress. When you lack the power that is relevant for your liftings, you are easily defeated. Many cannot rise out of the situation they find themselves because the power to bring them out is not there. Even to get wealth, there is power. <laughs> I am the Lord that give you power to get to wealth. What is power? Divine enablement. Special ability to get it done. That's power. So when we talk about empowerment for destiny fulfillment, we are talking about God releasing to you that which is necessary for you to step out from where you are into where he wants you to be. And that is what we have come together tonight to tap into. It is my prayer that by the spirit of it that is in heaven, the power required to move you from this level to the level where your testimony will multiply. As you say this, amen, loud and clear, may God release upon you tonight. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Power is our greatest asset. To lack power is to be stranded. But when power comes, what moves? In Ezra chapter 4, the Bible says, and the work they made it to cease by force and by power. The work of God ceased. Ezra 4.23. The house of God, the work ceased. But in chapter 5 of Ezra chapter 1, the Bible says, and the prophets, the Spirit took them over as they were prophesying. The people that their hand had been weakened before, they regained power to start building. They stopped them before. But when power came, nothing could stop them any longer. The same people that stopped them wanted to stop them, they could not. There is a power that makes you unstoppable. Listen to me. Everyone that has been attacking you and defeating you before now, by the spirit of it that is in heaven, the power that will make you more than a conqueror, receive here tonight in the name of Jesus. Power is essential 
for prophecy fulfillment. It's essential. So when we lack power, many destinies remain stranded. So by the Spirit of the Lord tonight, we want to connect with heaven for the empowerment that will step us into the realm of favor that brings it on around. Understand with me very clearly that the word of God as part of many other things is our spiritual channel for connecting with the power of God. And he was teaching. The power of God was there to heal them. It was available as he was teaching. Bible says, yeah, yeah. Because you know not the scripture, nor the power of God. So the scripture is the power of God. Yeah. Hebrews 4, 12, the word of God is quick and powerful. The word powerful means full of power. Yeah. So in the midst of God's word, there are supernatural releases of power. Ezekiel 2, verse 2, and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and he set me up on my feet. As many as the journey of life has brought down, if your amen can be louder, I declare the word of God will rest your amen. So please don't wait till we begin to pray because as we are speaking this word, he is speaking power in your direction. It is the profession we have to step into our possession. Make it available for us. So let your hearing ears be open because it is not what I am saying here. It is he that has here. Let him hear what the Spirit is saying. It is what the Spirit is saying that brings the power. <laughs> if you miss what the Spirit is saying, they miss the power available. It is the Spirit that brings the power. Because the Spirit quickened the flesh profited nothing. I pray over you this evening by the spirit of Elanese Evan. And everyone listening to me on the radio and everyone watching on the internet, I declare over your life wherever you are that the power of God, by the word of God, that will release you to the season of ceaseless and favor, uncommon favor, ceaseless favor, unlimited favor. May the heaven be opened upon you now. In the name of Jesus, say big amen if you believe that word. Please open your Bible with me to Acts of Apostles chapter 7. My assignment is just to take you through by the Spirit scriptural revelations that you will begin to run with. There is a time after this, we we'll begin to run with the light. Because arise and shine, your light has come. So until your light comes, your shining cannot show. So what we come to do at the moment of empowerment is not to preach. I don't preach nothing. We just want to come up with some light and we run with our light so that our glory will shine. Act of Apostles chapter 7. So very briefly, as God will give me the privilege, I'm going to be unveiling light Together with you, what I've entitled, Total Turnaround by Favor. Total Turnaround by Favor. Act of Apostles chapter 7, verse 6 to 9. Act of Apostles chapter 7, let's look at verse 6 to 10. If you are there, say amen. amen. If you are not there, say wait for me. I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> Glory be to God. In case you are looking for act, act is in the New Testament. And if you have got into Revelation, you need to take a reverse chair. You find it somewhere hidden. Glory be to God. Acts chapter 7, verse 6 to 10. And God spake on this wise that a seed should sojourn in a straight land. And that they should bring them into bondage. They will not bring you into bondage. Amen. And entreat them evil for hundred years. 
and the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge. Whatever God needs to judge in your direction and life tonight, I declare judgment over them. Say God. And he said, after that they shall come forth and serve me in this place. After I have released judgment, then they shall come into their place to possess it. Verse 8. And he gave him the covenant of circumcision. And so Abraham begat Isaac and circumcised him the eighth day. And Isaac begat Jacob. And Jacob begat the twelfth patriarch. Verse 9. And the patriarch moved with envy. Sold Joseph into Egypt. But God was with him. <laughs> and delivered him out of all his afflictions. Somebody say all. all. You didn't say it well. Say all. all. <laughs> so it doesn't matter how long and how many the afflictions are. God is delivering you tonight. Amen. Not only did he deliver him and gave him favor and wisdom. In the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he made him governor over Egypt and all his houses. May the Lord bless his word. The patriarch moved with envy, sold him. Please let me say this to you loud and clear. There are many circumstances and situations that we find ourselves, especially those of us going somewhere, they are product of envy and jealousy. Many are under dangerous oppositions and attacks because they are seeing something ahead of them and they don't want them to step into it. They saw the reality of the dream Joseph had. They didn't even know if it is going to come to pass or not. They don't know if he's telling the truth or not. They still have him. <laughs> there are things you don't give meaning to, but because they are enemies, they give more meaning to you than you. And because they can read more than you, they stood on your way to ensure you don't get there. They were moved with envy. So, can I say something to you? It was not normal. They were not the one doing it. Something was working in them. They were moved. Moved. So, it was an influence. Come on now. A force was moving them to do what they were doing against him. So, even wicked people, they don't just do wickedness. There is a spirit of wickedness that moved them. Hear me. Everyone that the spirit of devil is moving to do you evil. As you say this, same and clear. In the name of Jesus, I command those spirits to cease the operation. I command those spirits to cease the operation. In the name of Jesus. Now, one of the things we have come to do on empowerment center also, at the moment of destiny empowerment, is to catch prophetic releases. I don't speak them by the answer, I say them as I receive. Come on now. So, some people's own is coming from the releases. Sir, so, I've not seen it that way before. They were moved. So, even the ones opposing you, something is moving them. And I ask myself a question now. Why don't some people allow good spirits to move them to do good? <laughs> Esther chapter 1. The Bible says, and God stirred up the act of Cyrus. He moved him to do good to the Jews so that they can go and build a temple. I speak in your direction. <laughs> Everyone God needs to move their spirit to do you good. As you cross over into the second half of this year, everyone God needs to move their spirit to hand over that job to you, to give you that contract, to lift you up in promotion. As you say, amen, not clear. I declare the spirit of God to move them. I say, may the spirit of goodness move them. I say, may the spirit of favor move them. In the name of Jesus. Someone is here. The spirit of goodness will move somebody to approve you. I say, we move them to approve you. In the name of Jesus. They were moved by envy. It was not normal. So, many of the oppositions are products of somebody being moved by something somewhere. That is not where I'm going anyway. That just came by the spirit. And they sold him, thinking it was over. We shall see how his dream will come to pass. But they never knew that there is a God whom we serve. I call him the God of mysterious operations and provisions. Mysterious operations and provisions. The God 
we serve is a God of mysterious operations and provisions. Mysterious in the sense that you cannot prove how it works, but you can see the result. You can't explain how it did it, but you can see the result. You are not aware of the process, but you can see the product. The God of mysterious operations. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, And God created the heavens and the heart. The heart was without form. Everything was formless. There was emptiness. There was darkness. And God said, Let there be light. Out of nothing, where did light come from? We saw light, but we didn't know what brought it. And the Bible says that all the things we see are product of the things we don't see. Hebrews 11 verse 3. By faith we know that even the, the visible things are product of the invisible things. So there is a mysterious God that uses things we can't explain to bring forth things that we can celebrate. I speak in your direction today. That that same mysterious God will perform mysterious acts in your life. <laughs> there shall be a testimony of the mysterious works of God in your direction. I'm telling you about the God of mysterious operations and provisions. Matthew chapter 17, verse 24 to 27. Matthew 17, 24 to 27. The Bible says, and when they got to Capernaum, the people that collect tribute, they came to Peter. And they said, your master needs to pay tribute. And Jesus asked Peter a question. Whom do they receive it from? From children or from stranger? Peter said it's from stranger. Even though we are children, we still want to show them that our God is a mysterious God. He said, Peter, go to the sea. The first fish, Abba, the first fish you catch, open the mouth, you'll find the money there. Question number one. How sure was he that the first fish that will come will be the one that carried the money? Question number two. Who puts the money inside the fish? <laughs> Question number three. Why wasn't fish so hungry that we eat money? I mean, you need to understand that this is mysterious. We can't explain it, but we see the product. Somebody is here. The way you will get married this year, it will be mysterious. The way God will give you that job, it will be mysterious. In the name of Jesus, you are getting that property mysterious. You are getting it mysterious. I say you are getting it mysterious. Yeah. Shout the big man if you believe that. Yeah. We can't explain the process, but we can see the product. Hallelujah. The God of mysterious operations. And Peter went there like a mumu. He did say, Master, did you say fish? Did I hear you say fish? When, when, when did fish begin to respond to man? It has me because he knew that this man is a mysterious person. <laughs> when Peter got there, the same first fish that came out, he did not miss Peter's hand. Peter opened his mouth. The fish did not struggle. Ah, yes, sir, I hear you. There are people here. The glorious testimony you are looking for is hidden inside something. Jesus said, and catch it, it is inside it. It is inside, it is stored inside it. But you need to catch it to bring it out. I speak in your direction. That which you need for your promotion. That which you need for your progress. That which you need for your testimony. That which you need for your settlement. That is hidden anywhere. As you say this, amen. I command them to be brought forth to you. I declare they are released in your direction. In the precious name of Jesus. The job that is hidden in high places, God will step you up there. In the precious name of Jesus. There is someone here today, by the Spirit of the Lord, I say to you, that by the direction of God, God will lead you to where what you have been praying for has already been provided. And is it hidden in there? Only for you to receive it. Because Jesus said, when you get there, just tell them that the Lord has a need of it. The Lord has a need of it. The Lord has a need of it. Therefore, I speak in your direction. In the name of Jesus. That which has caused you to be stranded, even though it is hidden somewhere, as you say this, amen, may God move you to go and take it. Sound the big amen if you believe that. My God, my God, my God. God of mysterious operations. And you know one of the things I realize? That 
the mysterious operations and provisions of God, they are for the glorification of his children. He doesn't do this to show that he is mighty. No. He does it to glorify his children. In John chapter 2, verse 1, God invited to a wedding. And the wine finished in there. There was no more wine. And the mother came to Jesus. He said, I know this man. He's a mysterious being. He said, son, they lack wine. Jesus said, ma'am, what concerns me with that? And apart from that, my time has not come. Come on now. Even though his time has not come, what he can deliver was delivered to them. I saw in my scripture, there are three places up till now, I don't know more than three. I'm still researching. Jesus broke room to make room for certain things. Number one, he said my time has not come. John chapter 2. Even though his time has not come, the Bible says, he said to them to fill the jar with water. And he didn't pray no prayer. He said, draw and go and give to the chief. You know, Jesus is systematic. He didn't say go and give to the man. Go and give to the chief, the chairman. Because there are people that know how to taste things. You see, the man doing celebration is under stress. When he drinks it, he will think it is water. <laughs> but the sheer man has already drank so many things. By the time he tastes, he knows the taste, he knows different taste. He has drank so many wine in his life that he knows that this because when they gave him, he said this one is different. He has tasted wine in his life that he knew this one is from somewhere else. He said to the man, he said everybody will always bring the good wine. Am I right now? You see, the man has drank a lot of wine. Everywhere I've been, they always bring the good one before the bad one. You but you have kept the good one. They never knew that the God is a mysterious God who keeps the best for the last. The second half of your life this year is going to become your best. It is reserved for you. It is becoming your best. It is becoming your best. It is becoming your best. In the precious name of Jesus. Listen to me. In the Bruno Separation. Give it to him. And when he took it, he said, This is different. But Jesus broke rule. Both earthly rule and heavenly rule. Time has not come. Yet, he rode on the wings of time to make sure that one man was not put to shame. I don't know if he was a family member. But what I know is that that man was glorified at that wedding. I pray over your direction. What has been bringing you shame over your children? What has been bringing you shame concerning your life? Concerning your health? Your marital destiny? I wish somebody is here with a loud amen. amen. Jesus will break rule on your behalf. Amen. I saw in Matthew chapter 15 the psychophonia woman. Jesus said to her, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of Israel. Ah, I'm not sent means I'm not sent. He can't lie. He is Jesus. But yet he broke rule because of that woman. <laughs> and wish somebody can understand the mysterious might of God we are serving here because somebody is here by this ministry from here now God will be breaking normal rules just to make room for you we have they say they don't give this kind of people like you he will break rule on your behalf the people that came tonight they don't understand listen may I say this I didn't say it earlier this is not another church service we are on the mountain on mountains, revelations flows fire come down. Listen to me. On mountains, you are alone. I'm just speaking what he's saying. You are running with it on the mountain. Ah, Hila, Parube, Eskatanina, Poru Sakatia, Prana Sahula, Paraji, Akada Maronia, Bataya Katuleke, Aro Sakata. Hear me, hear me, hear me. I hear from heaven. He said, Where they have used rule to block you out? Where they have used rule, norms, standards, status quo, etiquettes to stop you, to block you, to hinder you. I am breaking the rule on your behalf. I am breaking the rule on your behalf. In the precious name of Jesus. Somebody shall be given. Jesus said to I'm not saint. But the woman said, after she has worshipped him, Jesus said, I changed my mind. I break the rule. <laughs> Sir, 
We made the rule. We have power to break it. That was what Jesus was saying. Because I and my father, we are one. When I break it, it can't scold me. I have power over my life to lay it down and to take it again. That is the Jesus you saw. How I wish people here can understand this mysterious God. I saw Jesus broke rule for demons. Demons are supposed to be casted into dens. And the Bible says when they saw a man filled with legions, the Bible says the demons beg him. They plead. He says, sir, don't send those into the down pit. See those swine. Another person's property. Somebody say, you know, go better for them. You know, go better for Listen them. Listen to me. Why did I say so? They didn't see Weaver. They didn't see another place. They said swine. Another mass investment. Yes, sir. Even demons know good things. <laughs> they said, Jesus, don't send us to the pit. Send us to the swine. The Bible says, and he eat to them. supposed to go. They said, no, we don't want to go to that place. Class us into the swine. And he eat to them. Did I saw that spirit? I said, eh? If demon could get you to eat to them, something must be wrong with me if you don't hear me. You are not getting what I'm saying here. You must be angry within you. Demons, he eat to them. And you are praying as a son. Daughter and child. And he's not hearing you. I speak in your direction. In the name that is above every other name long term prayer you have been praying and there is no result. Yes sir. I bow my knees to the Father of heaven and heart. And I stand in the place of intercession today. Over the life of everyone here saying amen. That long term prayer. That stubborn situation. That great desire you have. You have prayed your fasting. But nothing is showing for. Jesus you broke rule for them. Sir. Over the life of everyone saying amen. My God show up for them by mercy. Whatever those demons were able to receive from you, that made you to eat to them, even against the rule, you broke rule in wedding of Cana. You broke rule for the psychophonia woman. I speak over everyone here. As you step into the month of June, like, within the first 14 days of July, the testimony of God breaking rule on your behalf. I say it will show forth in your life. It will show forth in your life. The reason why they have not pro promoted you is because there is a rule. There are people here concerning your immigration status. A change is going to come into the rulings. And the rulings will work in your favor. In the precious name of Jesus. Concerning any issue where rules has limited you. As you say this amen loud and clear. I command those rules to be broken into pieces. Thank you, Flannel. Glory be to Jesus. Some couple of weeks ago, I was privileged to be on the radio station. And the presenter spoke to me. He said, there is a case in America about a young lady, I think she's about 10 years old or 12 years old, that has lung issues. And there, is, there was a rule that they can't give her, um, like um, somebody else, what do they call it, bypass or something like that. Transplant. Because there is a rule that says all the adults that have must first be serviced before they consider children. And moreover, she is not yet 12. Then she said we should pray live on the radio. And we declared at the council of God. Last week, I was just scanning through the internet. And I saw the same picture. And I saw that the transplant they never wanted to do, they have carried that for the daughter. Petitions were signed on a platform called change.org. And men were moved to say that rule was changed to favor this daughter because she was not dying. Amen. The same God that changed the rule to make sure that somebody's life was restored. That that lady did not die in that situation. I don't know why this is. This is what the Spirit is saying here. Rules will be changed on your behalf. Rules will be broken on your behalf. There are family rules. Jacob connected his home because they could not break rule on him. 
Labor said to Jacob, we don't do it in our house like that. We can't give you the younger sister until you marry the, the first one married. The rule could not be changed. He entered into problem. He was serving services that he supposed not to be serving. Because there was a family rule. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Any rule in the family where you have come out from. That has not allowed what you're supposed to show, what is supposed to show forth in your life. The rule in the family where you got married to. That say nobody goes beyond this place in this family. The rule in the vicinity where your business is operating. The rule in the place where you are working. God said because this is a testimony coming out from your mouth. The rules are broken up for you. The rules are broken up for you. The rules are broken up for you. Status quo are changed for you. Somebody shout the beginning. I saw the scripture that favor is one of the mysterious provision of God. For the beautification and glorification of his children. Mysterious. You can't explain what favor is until you experience it. You can't explain favor. What is it? I saw favor we put some people at disadvantage. Just to put somebody in advantage. Mysterious. Mysterious. In Psalm 102, open your Bible with me. I want to show you. That as part of the content loaded in favor. It is ordained as God provision for the beautification of your destiny. Psalm 102. I see God will not allow me to finish this message. But get set because I see a wave gathering right now. There is about to be a spiritual invasion in this meeting right now. I don't know where, but I'm seeing the gathering of the cloud and the wave. Yes, sir. I declare by the Spirit of the Lord that everyone under this apostolic covering in the name of Jesus, ah, as the move of God is set to visit this land right now, I pray you will not be exempted. Amen. Psalm 102, verse 13 to 16. Yes, sir. The Bible says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time has come. Favor is God's provision. Ordained for the beautification of his children. But look at what he said. He will arise concerning Zion. Verse 14. For thy servant take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings that add thy glory. This is talking about the glory of Zion. In case you have not seen it, look at verse 16. He said, when the Lord shall build up Zion, how will he build him all? By releasing the favor necessary for Zion. He said, Zion shall appear in his glory. There is a glory in Zion, but the glory can't appear because the favor necessary for the appearance of the glory in Zion has not come. But God said, yeah, now is the set time. Yeah, now is the set time. Because glory of Zion must show forth. I therefore declare, the favor that will bring forth the eating glory in your life, may God release upon you. I say, may heaven release upon you. In the precious name of Jesus. Please, favor is a mysterious provision. If favor is not mysterious, why will it be in Exodus chapter 12, verse 35 to 36? And the Bible says, And the Israelite knocked on the door of the Egyptians after they had been there for 430 without anything. In one day, they knock on their door and they ask of them everything they have. Verse 650. And the Israelite spoiled the Egyptians. Because God gave them favor before the Egyptians. They did not get the resources by struggle. They didn't get it by fighting. God gave them favor. All they could not get in 430, they got it one day. Mysterious. If favor is not mysterious, how can an enemy knock on the door of another enemy and say, give it to me, give it to me? And like a mumu, he was giving it out. Ah, there is something mysterious about favor. It's inexplainable. They knew that these Egyptians, they don't like them. 
Egyptians know that Israelites are their slaves. Yet, slave knock on the door of the master. He said, bring me your car. Give me that thing. Give it to me. As if he was using charm. But the moment they ask, they got. Why? Because God gave them favor. Such order of favor that will make what you have lost in years to come to you in days. I speak in your direction. May God release upon you today. Mysterious activities and operations of favor will begin to work in your direction. By favor in the name of Jesus, what has not worked for you before will begin to work like never before. They knock on their door. And they were listening to them. I saw favor is not fear. Favor is never fear. Because it made the Egyptians to be spoiled. And the Israelites were lifted. God gave them favor. There is a order of favor that God will give to you. That where you ought not to be accepted and approved. In case them knowing, they will just say you are approved, you are accepted, you are declared to go in the precious name of Jesus. That is the mysterious operations of favor. Totally mysterious. Not only is favor mysterious, it's also a mysterious force that brings a turn around. Total. Psalm 89 verse 17, he said, through the favor of the Lord, our arms shall be exalted. We may be down, but when favor comes, we don't remain there. Yes, By the favor of the Lord, our arms shall be exalted. And so face me to say it over and over again that the best of your life is loaded in the depth of the favor you enjoy. Why? Because in his favor is life. So without his favor, life is not life, life is struggle. Without his favor, life is not what it ought to be. Job said in Job 10, 12, he said, you gave me life and favor. So it is favor that makes life livable. If you live life that is short of favor, you have not started living. And I have a good news for you. The same favor is available. Amen. Because the same God yesterday, today, and forever. If he gave them favor, I speak over your direction. In the name that is above every other name, it is your turn to receive you. Favor is essential for the journey of life. If it is not, Jesus would not have needed it. Luke 2 52. And Jesus grew in stature and in wisdom of an increased obtaining favor from God and man. Why did he need it? Jesus needed it. Ah, then you need it more. Amen. For Samuel 2.26 and Samuel grew and in wisdom and he received favor from God and man. Ah, I said Samuel 2. They needed favor so we need it more. They needed it in the Old Testament. They needed it also in the New Testament. So you are not lost. you to be yearning within your spirit man for the order of favor that brings a turn around. Because there is a turn around mystery in favor. Very mysterious. The way it turns it around, it turns situations of long years around in one moment. Let me share with you very briefly three and we just flow. Number one turn around mystery. That I saw concerning favor is that favor don't struggle to sweatless result. It don't struggle to sweatless result. Psalm 44 and verse 3. For they got not the land with their sword. They got it not. Come on now. They got it not. So they got it. You are getting it. You are getting it. They got the land. Even though they went with sword, they thought they needed the sword. They thought they needed the strength. But the Bible says they didn't get it because of that. Because you made your face to shine upon them. And because you gave them favor. So favor turned struggle. What could have taken their struggle, it delivered to them sweatlessly. From today I speak in your direction. 
what you have been struggling concerning before now. I speak over your life as you see this in me. People will begin to deliver to you. Amen. Everything you struggled for in the first time that did not get into your hand. As you cross over into this second hour, favor will deliver into your hand. Amen. I say favor will deliver into your hands. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Favor turns struggle to sweatless results. Let me share with you a story of a man called Naphtali. In Genesis chapter 49. The Bible says in verse 21, why Jacob was declaring the judgment and what will come to pass in the life of his children. When he got to Naphtali, look at what he said. Genesis 49, 21. This is what their life will produce. And when he look at Naphtali, some people he use three sentences, some he use four lines, but when he came to Naphtali, his own was short, but loaded. Genesis 49, 21. He said, Naphtali, you are a end, let loose. <laughs> he gave it godly wisdom. That was all. Ah, I said, what is the problem with Naphtali? I now went to look at what is the meaning of Naphtali. I saw as part of the name Naphtali, it means wrestle. I have wrestled with my sister. So Naphtali came forth by name as wrestle. When the father would release blessing, he said, con continue with wrestling. A hint let loose. What do you think that one will be looting? He will be running everywhere. So we saw concerning Naphtali's destiny that he carried an uncommon oil poured upon his life to be running around, to be struggling around. To struggle for things to work. But in Deuteronomy chapter 33, something happened. In case you want to confirm what I said concerning after this name, Genesis chapter 30, Genesis chapter 30 and verse 8. The Bible says from verse 7, And Bill Al, Rachel's maid, conceived again, and bear Jacob a second son. And Rachel said, With great wrestlings, I have wrestled with my sister. And I have prevailed, and she called his name Naphtali. So Naphtali means wrestling. That is what the meaning means. So the name means wrestling. The blessing pronounced upon his life said, continue struggling. But when Moses came to show forth the blessing, in Deuteronomy chapter 33, the Bible says concerning Naphtali, in verse 23, Deuteronomy 33 verse 23, Moses turned around what they have positioned and pronounced upon after me. He said enough of the struggle. It is time for stressless result. Look at what he said in verse 23. And he said of Naphtali. He said, oh Naphtali, satisfied with favor. Somebody say satisfied. satisfied. Say that again. Say satisfied. satisfied. That means you are not managing favor. You are full of it. Yes. Look at what he said. He said, no, you are no longer struggling because they pronounce struggle upon you. I am making your journey sweatless. I am making your journey sweatless. Naphtali, you are satisfied with favor. He said, you are full with the blessings of the Lord. Possess thou the west and the south. By favor, there was a turn around from struggle to sweatless possession. I speak in your life. In the precious name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord my God. Oh, I wish you were here. Say, oh Lord my God. Release upon me tonight. Favor that will turn my struggle to sweatless results in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, big man, if you believe that one, what other are struggling for by favor? God will deliver to your hands. Favor, turn it around. Said, enough of the struggle they pronounce on you, enough of the struggle you are born with. It is time for you to begin to enjoy satisfactory favor. Favor turns struggle to success. Favor turns wasted efforts into great results. Favor turns trouble to testimonies. When favor is at work, it provokes a turnaround. It is your turn. Amen. Number two, mysterious operations of favor. Favor turns disadvantage to divine advantage. Disadvantage, it turns it around to divine advantage. 
Esther by no means ought to be a queen. No. She was not a citizen. She was, she was, she was brought inside. She has no father, no mother. She was an orphan. And something me to say, I say to over everybody again that if only they have allowed some people that were still outside to come in, there must have been some people more beautiful or more prettier than her. Yes. But the Bible says Esther chapter 2, verse 15. And when Esther's son came, they took her into the king. And the Bible says she obtained grace and favor before the king. And the king said the competition is over. I don't care how many people he makes outside. This one. There are other alternatives. But this one. Favor spoke in a direction. And from a nobody, she became a voice. Favor spoke in a direction to the point that a disadvantage was overlooked. They didn't ask, do you have paper or not? Because she didn't even have one. If they had one, Monica would not have been sitting at the gate. They are not. From where they are coming from, when you look at Monica's life, you will know what Esther will become. Everything does not look better, but favor. You see, I realize that favor can bring somebody that people have called a non-entity to make him a significant force that will come and even help those that call him non-entity. I'm telling you about the favor that turns disadvantage to divine advantage. Even though she was at disadvantage, the king overlooked every other thing. She said, this one, this one. There is someone here by the missing of this meeting from Tona. Everywhere, everywhere you, 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 you hand over anything that has to do with you, you shall be divinely approved. Yeah. Everywhere they sees anything that bears your name, you shall be divinely approved. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. Yeah. Favor turns disadvantage to divine advantage. talking about the power of favor. I hear this testimony some couple of months ago. One of the testimonies that was shared at Winners Chapel in Lagos. A young man went for an interview. By the time he got there, he got there late. And by the time they did the interview for him, they said, Ma, Mr. Man, what we are looking for, you don't have. I said, okay, I don't have. So I'm on my way going. But he now said, but one of the men that sat on the chair, he said, he looked at him and said, I love your shirt. I said, shirt. <laughs> and he said, I love your shirt. Then when you love my shirt, what happens? He said, see me later. Wait and see me. Now, because he loved his shirt, he said to him, even though what we are looking for you don't have, we are giving you the job. I said, what kind of testimony is this one? Then yeah, I said to myself, ah, evil shit can contain favor. <laughs> I realize that God will use things that you can't explain to bring out things that will make you to become a celebrity. Amen. There are people here where they have looked down on you. Oh, By favor, God will make you to be looked up to. <laughs> In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. I'm telling you about the mysterious turnaround force that is in favor. That can make somebody's disadvantage to turn it around to an advantage. Amen. You don't have what we are looking for, but you got the job. Hear me, everyone trusting God for a new job, even though you don't qualify. I speak in the name of Jesus. Before July gets to middle, the kind of job that only favor could have delivered, God is going to hand it over to you. I say, God is going to hand it over to you. By favor, that interview you are going to be approved. I say, by favor, you are going to be accepted. In the precious name of Jesus, where they have been denying you before, favor will bring you out. Favor will set you apart. In the precious name of Jesus, say, "Begin many people now." 
telling you about the mysterious operations of favor. And finally, I saw that favor turns a commoner to a commander. A commoner, a nobody. How could Joseph enter Egypt? And within a pace of few years, he rose up to become the most important person in there. A commoner. He came in as a slave. He died there as a significant force. <laughs> he came in sold. He lived in the land selling their things. A commoner. Nobody knew him when he came in. But before he died, they knew there was a man called Joseph. <laughs> You may have entered into this year as a commoner. No significant changes. Nothing to show forth. No testimony. No good news. But I stand in the place of authority. You are going to end this year as a commander of goodness. You are commanding results. You are commanding testimonies. You are commanding wealth. By favor. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says the pitch that moved with envy, they sold him. But God gave him favor. They sold him, but God, what matters is not what they are doing to you. What matters is what God is doing to you. Let me speak. Stop focusing on what they are doing to you. Start looking at what God is doing through you. Forget about what they are doing against you. Because either you like it or not, they will always be there. If they are no longer there, you have no one to celebrate you when you get there. Focus on what God is doing about you. Many times, many of us have lifted our eyes off God and we are concentrating on what they are saying about me. They said this, they said that. They said it, they said that. What concerns me about what they are saying? We are born to speak. If they don't speak, they will beat them when they give back to them. They say, speak, cry. When they give back to a baby, he didn't cry. They will give him, beat him, beat him. You can't control them from speaking. But you can shut their mouth up by what God has done in your life. The time many supposed to be focusing on God. We are busy going around. They say you said this. What was asking me about what they say? It's their business to say whatever they want to say. When they are tired, they will shut up their mouth. Focus on what God is doing. Most important person in your journey is not anybody is God. Glory be to Jesus. We leave that word is for somebody. But I have a news for you. What they have said against you negatively, what they have said about you negatively, get ready because a tide is falling in your favor. They will come and see that the Lord has been good to you. Because when God will have built Zion, He shall appear in His glory. When God will have built Zion, whatever God needs to build in your life, in your foundation, in your marriage, in your family, concerning your children, for you to appear in fullness of glory, I see God building them all. I see God building them all. Rise up on your feet, everybody. The wind of favor is blowing right now. The cloud of favor is already in there. Liga bo sata andala bo sihara. Marus kete balaba sata. Favor turns a commoner into a commander. He came in as a nobody, but he got out from the land. A commander of strength resulted. Apostle katane gadu zebaraba. Everybody lift up your voice for Jesus, because your hold must not be exempted. Your whole turn of favor must come. Favor for it. Turn around. The favor for the turn around. The favor for the turn around. The favor for the turn around. Ela no se anda la vaso para la para 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 rosi anda la gara la. La rosi gara ma subero do se le anda subane. Aya gara bo si da la ne ya da sabano ni ya sale ne bo su na ne. Begin to talk to heavens. Begin to talk to heavens. If these are the activities of favor, why will not your own be done? You may have come into this country as a nobody. Oh yes, begin to press in. If favor turn disadvantage to divine advantage, why must he not step in for you? Thank you, my father. In Jesus.
Jesus precious name we pray. Now look at me. There was one thing at work. This kind of favor does not just come. It is released and God gave them. They sold him but God was with him. So this kind of favor is generated by divine presence. Because when they cannot deny God, they can't deny him. The kind of favor that brings a turn around is by divine presence. And God was with Joseph and he gave him favor. I'm not talking about ordinary favor. I'm telling you about mysterious life turn around favor. God said to me now, there are businesses here that what you have not commanded in 10 years, within this remaining six months of this year, by straight favor, mysterious, inexplainable order of favor, you are commanding such order of results. Our wish that person can understand. You are commanding such order of results. You are commanding such order of results. In the precious name of Jesus. God was with him. For the next 10 minutes, bear with me, we are going to spend a little extra time because God said to me, one of the channels for which the impartation of divine presence comes is by the anointing. So I've been challenged and challenged to anoint everyone that will come here for strange operations of favor. Together with Pastor Jeff, we're going to do it and we live here. But we need to generate his presence. Now, as we worship God for the next 10 minutes, Oh my God. <laughs> it is you and him. The Bible says, and God called Moses, and he entered into the cloud. He entered into the cloud. This kind of favor, don't, they don't get it on the street. It is in his presence. And we get it by challenging and provoking his person to come in. Because when his person steps in, everything must change. In the midst of this worship, if there are strange sicknesses in your body, they are going to dry up right now. There is someone here, the Lord said you have been visiting hospital over the same issue. And every time they say it is gone, you still see it. Get ready. I hear heaven say to me, in the command of Nasepa, the surgery you need for you to see it no more is going to take place right now. Right now. Everyone listening to me on radio and everyone watching this, wherever you are, enter into the cloud of his presence. Because by the time you return, you are returning with this mysterious spot around order of evil. I'd like you to open up your heart. Don't look at anybody standing beside you. You are free. It is you and God now. It is you and God. It is you and God. He must come in for you. He must show up for you. Let's just lift our voices and give him praise. Worship the arm and know that the one that is able to do all things. Give him praise in this place, just worship him. Open your mouth to him and give him all the glory.
tight for you. Ah, oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Lord. In Jesus' name. The Lord said there is someone here. You have been having issues with your eyes. And he said to me that a great physician has come because of you. Amen. Don't know where you are, just place your right hand on that high, the part of that high where there is vision. An instant manifestation of his power. Great physician, touch now. Ega has got to Ellen Lamont, the head of the Cassia. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Heal that eyes totally, permanently. In the name of Jesus. Now, anyone with any form of sickness anywhere in your body, place your right hand there right now. There is a river of mighty wave of healing flowing right now. I command Lord Jesus by the word because you sent for your one and you healed them and delivered them from the, all their bondages. Every part, every area where this your people have touched, let there be healing now in the name of Jesus. I declare you healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hypertension, I command you now, go. Amen. High blood pressure, I decree, be normalized. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, thank you, blessed Father. You. you are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, glory be to your holy name. Thank you, blessed Father. Whatever you cannot do before begin to do right now. The great physician has touched you. The great physicians have walked in your direction. All oh, glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now we are still going to continue in that worship. And as we continue, we will come in forward for the anointing. That is all God has instructed to do. And somebody said we didn't pray fire prayer. It's okay. When Samuel anointed David, the spirit of God came upon him. Yeah. 